Hi, uh, very good morning. Uh, welcome to JS Testing Academy. Uh, this time we are going to see uh, performance testing. Okay, so performance testing basically, uh, right, we are checking the response time of a web based application. If more number of users hitting an application, how fast the application is responding. That is called as performance testing. Uh, there are a lot of different types of performance testing. One is load testing, next one is stress testing, scalability testing, endurance testing, spike testing, and so we have the, uh, different types of performance testing. So we can do the performance testing through various tools. Uh, like one of the common tools is load reduction license tool, and next one is uh, JMeter, Apache, uh, JMeter, uh, that is also the right one tool, and next one is Gatling. Uh, so on um, this video, we are going to see basics of Gatling. Uh, just how to install the Gatling and just to run one simple script and uh, check the uh, performance of one simple sampling step. That is what we are going to uh, see. Okay. Uh, so this uh, tutorial we are going to see Gatling and future tutorials. You can also follow us in this uh, YouTube channel for uh, JMeter also. Okay. So let's start with the introduction of Gatling. Uh, Gatling is a powerful open source load testing tool. Okay. So this can be easily downloaded. Uh, it's an open source tool. Okay. And uh, it is a script-based performance testing tool. When compared to the other tools, it's more of a scripting, right? We can do enhanced scripting uh, with the help of this Gatling, okay? So then you can see the coming videos, how we are going to uh, enhance the script, add script, and enhance the script, uh, you can see. So it's generally a script-based, right, performance testing tool, okay? And Gatling is written by default in Scala language. Okay, so Gatling is by default is written by using the Scala language. Okay, so Scala is one of a multi paradigm programming language, right? It has both object oriented programming and also functional programming, uh, right? Uh, so the, 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 the thing, the features of Scala is object oriented, functional programming, uh, right? It does other operations like concurrency. Uh, it has immutable corrections and it's interoperable with Java. Okay, so scale, in simple words, Scala is one of a language, a default language where Gatling is by default is the content generator. The script is generator. And one of the other benefit of Gatling is right, it is a heavy let, let load testing tool when compared to the other tools. We can put huge number of loads, uh, right, of our users and check, uh, right, to check the performance of an application. That is the one difference when compared to the other tools. Okay, uh, it has a include, it has a web recorder where it records a script. Okay, it has a default web recorder where it can generate a script and record and generate a script. Another one thing in Gatling, it has a beautiful reporting, colored reporting, enhanced reporting. Uh, right, you will see in this tutorial, uh, right, uh, right, uh, there is reporting also. The reporting is very uh, good day, right, uh, in the Gatling. Okay, Gatling reports are done in HTML format and it has a detailed graphs and statistic report, right. Uh, that is one of it has a customized report, right. Uh, that is one of the thing in the uh, like Gatling. And it has a huge community support, right. And uh, that is also one thing in the Gatling. Okay. Now, then next one is like, okay, what are the advantages? As I told you, I is better than JMeter. Okay, it is a heavy load testing tool, and when compared to the other tool, it has less RAM and uh, CPU utilization. Okay, and it has it, uh, it has less RAM, the CPU and RAM utilization is very less uh, right in the, in the Gatling, and this supports Java also. This language supports Java, Kotlin, uh, right? Other languages it supports, so this can be uh, supported with, uh, with the help of the other build tools like Maven and Gradle. Okay, so you see where we are going to generate a script with the help of an Eclipse shortly. Uh, right, where we use the Maven tool and add the dependencies also. Okay, it has both open source edition and also enterprise edition uh, within the uh, right in the Gatling and the enterprise. Uh, it can be executed via cloud also. Okay, so that is also one important thing. Gatling has an Apache license of 2.0. Okay, so by default it's Scala language, but it can be uh, supported in other languages Java and Kotlin. Okay, so in our tutorial we are going to see more of Java and also Scala. Uh, right, uh, in our tutorial. Okay, and uh, next the features are it can be it's a powerful tool, it can be executed through command prompt, it can be generated script, and it can be written script, and it can be executed via virtual control the right tools, right? Jit we can run executed, it has a powerful GI recorder where you can record the script and it can be executed through CI CD Jenkins uh, tools, right? It can be executed. Okay, so these are the features of right uh, the Gatling. Okay, the next thing uh, we are using one tool called as Akam. 
okay akka told it where a gatling is built on top of the car uh, right uh, so it, it is built on top of the car the main purpose of akka is when compared to j meter is right it is a highly concurrent uh, concurrent and distributed message driven application whereas the apache uses threads right here instead of threads right it uses messages here okay so the virtual machine size limitation is overcome uh, with the help of akka so akka overrides the jmdm limitations which is uh, which is which where the limitation which is there in the other tools is can be over that here where the other tools uses normally uh, threads safe right thread one we use jmeter and load runner where this one is a highly scaling advantages over the thread based tools okay so you will see this everything practically so gatling is built on the tool called as akka okay now let's go for the in downloading and installation part okay let me go to google okay gatling opens gatling io open source i should type gatling io open source it's an official website okay first i'll click gatling gatling enterprise i'll click, click it okay i'll go scroll down okay uh, i'll go scroll down one minute let me uh, I should go here to Gatling open source load generator in downloads. I should click the download part. Okay. Already I have installed Gatling in my machine. So basically, guys, what you do is you click the download and go to the corresponding download folder. Okay. You can see two things here. Okay. Uh, if I go to download folder, right? Uh, then the zip file will be there. I should extract it and the file name will be Gatling charts right and bundle okay it charts and bundle so that will be the the file name it will be generated downloaded that i should answer it then let me go to the file now ah, so if you see open the file uh, you can see bin folder there lib folder there okay so first if i go to bin folder i will see four files here one is for gatling and next one is a recorder the gatling is an exe file where i can uh, write a batch file right where i can go and just start my gatling and next one is a recorded file where I can go and record. Okay, there are a window, there, there, there are four files. Two is for Mac and two is for Windows. Okay, you see the cell script is for Mac and the Windows batch file is for the Windows file. Okay, so if you are uh, your Mac user, go and go and click, click start with the cell script a recorder. And if you are with the uh, right Windows, you click start with the recorder Windows batch file. So I'm using Windows here. Let me start recording here. Okay, I'll go. Uh, first i should record it okay what what application i should record it i should determine for example i'm going into google and i'm going to any one site okay rng sharp okay rng sharp site i'm going okay and i want to record this particular application and test it with some multiple users okay so that is the scenario here okay rng sharp demo okay so this uh, this site i'm going to record it Okay, so this site I'm going to record it. For that, I'm going to right click the particular uh, application and I'm going to inspect it. Okay, I'm going to inspect it. So, okay, so in the under the network tab, I should click network tab. Okay, and I should there is a red color start recording button, right? Uh, I should be this should start with the help of recording. Before that, I should apply filters here. I should go and click this, right? And click the preserve log so that the garbage unwanted. Uh, steps which is recorded is not recording removed here okay so it's a clear the network law right i should clear the network law okay then what i should do is i should click i will do some record some functionality and start recording and i first I'll log into the rhm application admin okay next one is i'll enter the password admin 123 i'll first log into the application click over login Okay, logging in the application, you can see the all the APS is being recorded here. Okay, now I'll go and click search and search something and do something. I'll click it. I'll click some two pages. I mean, a PM page. I'll go and click it. PM page. I'll go and click it. Okay, then I'll log out. Okay. Hmm. Now what I do is right. It's recorded now. First, what I should do is I should uh, I should start the recording. After the start, I should stop. Then I should download the step. Okay, download the HRE file, HCR file, HCR file is nothing but HTTP archive, the file expansion of HCR file is the HTTP archive file, which is a JSON formatted log file that records information about the web browser interactions with the web page. So it is going to record the, what are the interactions in the web page, for example, I did username, 
ID password, click submit button, right? ID event and click on a search page, PM page, and the logout, right? All the web based interactions will be recorded uh, in the HR file. So, so that can be uh, used to convert into a simulation file, okay? So, HR file captures details such as HTTP requests and the response timings, cookies, headers, all these things will be recorded in the HRF file that we are recording it and downloading it and saving it in our machine, okay? So that is what I did till now, okay? I save this file and I bring a file name, RNGHRM login. The scenario which we recorded is we are going to uh, test the performance, okay? Okay, now what I'm going to do is, right, I, I recorded this file, okay? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to I generate this file, okay? Now I'm going to click the recorder here. I should record this, uh, click the Windows file, as I told you, click the Windows batch file. Yeah, the Gatling tool will get opened now, okay? First, I make sure I keep a proxy here, this, uh, uh, this port number. Then I should go and click the HRA converter. So make sure in the recorder mode, you make it as an HRA converter. So the HRA file is converted to a simulation file, okay? I'll click this one. And I'll select the path of the HRA file which I recorded now. I'll go and click browse. Okay. Go to downloads or uh, right where I check kept it right. Downloads. Okay. And I see right orange HRM login.hr file which I recorded. I click open. Okay. Now next what I do is right. I go what language I need to convert this HRA file. Which language I need the script to be generated. For example, as I told you in the beginning. Java file or Kotlin language or Scala language. Let me go with the Java and I'll have said what language of Java version I want. Let me take select any one language, right? Java level. Then I'll 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 I have to make sure the simulation folder is correct. Okay, so this simulation file is going to convert and store in that simulation. What is we by simulation? Simulation is nothing but a user defined behavior of a virtual user. It is nothing but a scenarios, the one or more scenarios which represent the Sequence of action in a web based application. So I think, but some scenarios uh, is called which is converted from HRA to the simulation folder. Okay. Let me go here and enable filters here. Enable means the unwanted things, the GIFs, the images in the web base will be blocked here. That won't be getting enabled here. Then I pick no static resources. Okay. What are the static resources it will display? And this and all things I denying it. Okay. I'm just denying, no need to write record this one, convert this one, I'm giving it and I'm clicking start. Okay. So unwanted things is not converted into a script. Okay. Then I click, it's already I have this file name. That's why this pop-up is coming. Further, you don't know, you won't get this pop-up. Okay. I click OK. So you can see right successfully converted HRA file to the Gatling simulation. So we have converted a HRA file to a simulation file. Now what we'll do is we'll run this and we'll get a report. In this video, it's a very basic video. Next video, if you follow it up, we'll, we'll see the next next things, what we can do with the help of this Gatling. Okay. Now I go to the folder. So we have a record of four file and also a Gatling file, I told you, right? Now if you go and see user files and the simulations, you'll see that file which we generated now. Record of simulation by Java file. As I told you, it is converted into my Java file, and you can see the Java code here. The recorded script is converted into a Java code here. Okay, so this uh, you wait. Will uh, I, I import that into Eclipse, and we'll see in the next videos. Now we are just going to run the script and generate a report now. Okay, let me go to bin folder again. As I told you, two files, record file and Gatling. Now we are going to execute the file and generate a report. Let me double click on the Gatling. Gatling file, I'll, I'll, there are some lists coming, right? First, uh, the first uh, thing we need to do is run the simulation locally. Let me type one here, okay? I, I'm telling the, like, to run the simulation locally. Enter, okay? Now, let me, the next one is, right, recorded simulation, okay? Recorded simulation means, which one, there are two simulations. One is a recorded simulation. Recorded simulation means this, I'm telling, record, run it. One is a computer database. Already default it has in that uh, Gatling folder, it has a computer uh, database and record simulation is we generated the script, right? That is that. So we need to give now zero now. So just invoke the, the our simulation which we recorded. Okay, I'm giving zero and click OK, enter. Then as I said, the run description is an optional one. No need, I'm just skipping it and I'm clicking the enter button now. Okay, so now the simulation recorded simulation is started and we can able to see the results here. Okay, we can able to see the results and the right, uh, the HTTP request response, right, 
what is the response time right uh, what all passed everything what are the requests which we uh, record right we can able to see what are the requests how many requests we did and whether it's passed or not right and we can generate a beautiful report also here okay so report would have been generated what is the average response time maximum response time okay uh, minimum response time standard time 15 percentile some five percentile we can see all these things right what is generally is showing the how for the particular scenarios which you recorded what is the average response what is how much seconds is being responded right that is what we are going to see in future we'll see advanced things of this happening okay so report has been generated and kept in this path let me go to that path and we can see the html report there let's go to the results folder and we'll see a simulation the latest one we'll see record simulation i'll click it okay now we'll see the index.html click it so you can see a beautiful report now okay so you got a report now with a graph color right as i told you in the introduction you are getting a beautiful report. i work with right other tools right uh, well, in, in my view, browser automation certainly report will be beautiful. Other than that, this Gatling is a nice, very beautiful report where it can be circulated to your team members. Okay, so let's uh, uh, right see the, uh, right, the report detailly uh, in the coming uh, right videos. We'll see right. Uh, so right, we'll see uh, right. We'll see this reporting in detail in the coming videos. Okay, thanks for uh, watching us. Right, please help uh, uh, right in our channel. Uh, right watching by watching and spreading it okay all the best bye guys thank you